let's see how we can format this slicer now right now it is shown in the list format you can click on the little uh, down arrow at the top corner you can see it is in the list format if you turn this to drop down format it will give a drop down you can resize it you can see now all items will be automatically selected you, now you can uh, click on the second drop down arrow uh, which is uh, right next to all you can click it and you can choose it whatever the item you wanted to select from this drop down you can just move it to left most it is also blended with the background you can give a small effect which can be highlighted for that purpose i am going to visualization pane and uh, format your visual you can see here in the, under the general the effect is there you can give little shadow just turn on the shadow and choose very light color see most of the values are in negative here that's why it is gone uh, the scale is showing in the reverse don't get confused the values are in negative that's why the bars are showing in the bottom facing facing to bottom uh, when you switch to any other ones you can see the values are in negative right now when i go to government see the values are positive the scale also is in positive that's why now it is facing top so select slicer so if you wanted to format much more you can go to slicer settings or general you can explore all this you can adjust the height from here also about 82 is there let me put 80 this size will be adjusted to 80 pixel suppose 200 is there. 211 is there let me put a 250 see it is now 21 it is automatically reduced i'm going to put another 5 now 215 this size in the pixel format so it came to 215 uh, pixels so like this you can also adjust the height and width manually so position vertical means top to bottom horizontal means left to right so if you increase to 15 that will come little right side from left to right there is 10 pixel width 10 pixel uh, left to right and top to bottom which is vertical if I give 80 it will come down see it is coming down so like this you manually also you can adjust size and width here title so title will be given as a field what you have taken so here I have taken the segment as a field field title is shown here other than this title if you wanted to give any other title also you can give here sales so that will be on top of the field name but usually uh, we don't prefer to give a separate title for the slicers whereas we will give the titles for only the charts uh, when i go to the effects you can give a, a different background for this type of slicer itself you can choose anyone see a slicer color has been changed so whatever the color you wish to take you can take from here uh, let's say you are giving this color so you can also reduce the transparency to minimize and increase the density of the color like this so it is better always uh, to be on white color for us right now even if the icons you wanted to format you can format see the icons which, which are on the top uh, when you select any visual the uh, few icons will be shown on the top if you wanted to highlight them different color you can highlight them you can give a border to them now the border also is given to them even icon I'll see filter and the pop-up and the three dots are in a black color you can give them to a different color let's say I'm going to white you can highlight like this 
whenever you move the cursor on top of them you will be able to see this uh, this kind of highlight of these buttons uh, when we come to the uh, visual section there are few slicer settings under options search box in internet if you are going to select a drop down where you will be able to type something and search to pick uh, some relevant items to that search right like that you can also enable the search option so i have enabled the search option let's see how it works click on the this little uh, uh, down arrow icon and see here search option is there suppose if you type any word from it it will filter it will filter that relevant uh, items let's say i'm going to select enterprise now so since i have typed enterprise only all enterprise uh, related words have been shown here if i delete it will show again all the items. so like this you can also enable the search option within the slicer and selection suppose if you wanted to select only single item right now what i can do is i'm going to clear it i can select the channel partners and enterprise together and government three items together or you can uh, randomly select the small business also you can deselect the enterprise like this you can select suppose you wanted to restrict only to select one single item that time what you have to do is come to here under uh, slicer settings under the selection uh, section you can uh, enable this single select so people will not be able to select any multiple items now only single item earlier there was a check box now it is in the options mode any one item you will be able to select out of these items i cannot select now or two items together only one item i will be able to select and the slicer header segment is there so it is with the default format of power bi is dan you can change that to whatever the font you wanted okay we will maintain in all the visuals segoi ui semi bold so we will stick to that format only we will maintain the font size as 14 in all the visuals you can give the border suppose i'm going to give one border here you can see uh, earlier the position was none that's why it is not showing the border now i have given the border position as bottom it came bottom of the slicer heading so for a heading if you wanted to give a different color here you can pick any different color now i will go to values section uh, values means this one what are the items i am showing here uh, right now channel partners enterprise government mid market small business are the item values within this slicer if you would like to format those you can also format so let's say the font i'm going to select this one which can match to the theme for only the values we are not bolding them it is already in the 14 size right now there is no border around the values so let's say i'm going to give the bottom border to the same color now see under each item there is a border you can explore all these uh, right now i don't need any bottom border for uh, items for each uh, value if you would like to give a uh, different color as a background you can also select the background now all the items will be shown within the uh, with that background so right now i don't need any background here so i'll go back to white suppose you have applied all these you don't want to use them you can click this reset to default it will be a reset just click the reset to default all my values gone back to original state once you press ctrl z right we will get back a previous state of the format like this you can uh, format the slicer let's have another slicer so when you take another slicer 
let's say discount brand do you think that we need to format from the beginning which looks like the previous slicer no select this visual click on the format painter and just click on this all the formations will be coming but a few options like uh, here it is drop down format but here it is in the list format so if you uh, change that to uh, drop down format it will be done. that's all this is one way of formatting to save most of the time so for segment i have selected one single value but here also it is in the single selection since i have applied the format painter to this slicer it is also turned to single selection so if i want to change back this discount band slicer to multi multi selector what should i do go to the format this your visual click on slicer settings under selection turn off the single select now you will be able to select multiple items from your high medium low you can do multiple selections now so now you can do the multiple selection under discount band please subscribe to my channel chetana pixel if you are not done yet request your comments on this video thank you so much see you in the next video